Hello there. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to check the update log for the DJI Mavic Pro. So how you check that the firmware has updated successfully. In my other video, I went through the firmware update and it said successful at the end, but the log is good to check that if it fails, you can have a look at uh, uh, trying to see why it failed. There's a little bit of information in there. There's not a huge amount we fully understand at the moment, but it gives you an idea of where we're at, basically. So I've updated my Mavic to the latest firmware via my iPhone 7. And what we're going to do now is look at the log that is stored on my iPhone. So to do that, the first thing we have to do is connect the iPhone to iTunes. No matter if it's PC or, PC or Mac, you can do it on either. So we hook it up to iTunes and wait for it to connect. Once it's connected, you then need to click on your device and click on apps. Once on the app screen, you need to scroll to the bottom, right to the bottom. Now you need to do it on the side here and get out the file sharing and documents. Now this is the area that the DJI Go app stores all its information. As you can see, I have Go and Go 4. Because I have an Inspire as well, I'm still using Go 3 for the Inspire, but for this one, we're looking for Go 4. So if I click on that, and then over in the DJI Go document section, we're now looking for the logs folder, which we can see is here. So what we'll do is drag that to the desktop, and that will appear there. Alternatively, if we scroll down a bit more, you can use the Save 2 option as well, and on Windows, you can use the Save 2 to put the logs to the desktop. Once we've done that, we open the logs folder and we're looking for the latest file, which is from today, which is this. So the Mavic update log is always called upgrade log underscore with a number. Now we know this is the most recent one because this is today's. It's got today's date at the time I did the upgrade. You can see we've got log one, two and three. It will always put the most recent log under zero, just so you have an idea. So. Um, these ones are the older ones, but it will always update underscore zero for the most up-to-date log. So if we open this, this shows us the information of what happened in the update process. Now, as I said, we don't fully really understand everything that's going on, but we can get an idea. So what the Go app does is when you go to do the update, the first thing it does is download the firmware from DJI servers. Now, it doesn't do this as one large piece of firmware. It actually downloads it in smaller blocks. So this section here, we can see that it is going to DJI servers and is pulling down the firmware. As we scroll down further, the next thing it does is do a check on the aircraft for the current version numbers. And this here looks very similar to what we had on the Phantom 3 and the Inspire 1. So you've got the module numbers. Now we don't know what they all are, but there's a few we can guess at, which is 12, 1200010203. That's going to be ESCs. Almost certainly ESCs because there's four of them. So we know where we're at with that. You then got number 11, you've got number four, number 100. So, you know, some of the information may tie over. We're, I don't fully know yet. The only difference we have on this is it doesn't show the current versions versus what it should be for the new firmware. It is only showing the versions here at the moment. The next thing it then does is if we scroll down further, it says start upgrade. And what it actually is doing then is unpacking the firmware because the firmware is coming down compressed. So you can see a tar firmware command. So it's unpacking it and sending it to the aircraft ready to do the update. And this is the section we're really interested in here now. So you're looking at received length, start, send, upgrade, finish, pack, check some data. And it says submodule. So what we have here is submodule ID, firmware version, upgrade state and progress from what it appears is the progress is for each individual section and the push upgrade progress down here is the overall progress so if we scroll down you can see we're doing ox2d which is at 20 percent and we keep going and we keep flying down and as you can see the modules are changing and then the percentages over the size of jump if it's 500 so that's as it's done that module and then it skips on to the next section so as we scroll down you can see the overall progress is going up 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 and if we take a big scroll down towards the bottom we will then see 
the section which shows us the end of the update. So as we get towards the end here, what you have is it's reached 88, 92, 95, 95. At this uh, state here, it says reboot notify from 13. So the aircraft is rebooting at this point. It's then firing back up, it's connecting to service, the submodule ID is then updated, and that's the last bit, and then it clicks over to upgrade success. It then downloads the upgrade log from the aircraft, which is this, and then it saves the log onto the smart device. Um, so that is a successful update. If you are having problems with your update, so it's saying update failed, this is what you want to do is go into this log and have a look what's going on and it's at this area here you will see an upgrade failed and it will give you a code and it will tell you at what point it failed so you've got 88 percent obviously it'll stop at 60 percent or or something if your upgrade is failing in the first section of the log so not this bit with the modules but go right up but this section here this is to do with how it's downloading it from DJI servers. So if you find that it's failing here, what I would try and do is maybe use a longer cable from your controller to your, your smart device, delete the Go app, reboot your device, download it again and try it. Because um, this, this section here is where it's downloading the firmware. And I've seen a few fail here. And just keep trying. If you keep trying, it will go through. If it fails in this area here, and I've seen a few failing around the 80 odd percent mark. At the moment, it appears slightly more sinister. And no matter what you do, there's nothing you can do to get past it. And the only advice a second is to return it to DJI for repair. Uh, hopefully, there might be an updated firmware to come across this. It usually stops around the 88 percent mark and says upgrade error one, or code one or code two what that means is unknown at the moment but if you do get that obviously try it through the assistant 2 pc app try it on another smart device try it on another phone tablet you know try everything you can try but in my experience from the ones i've seen so far it's end game if you do get that that's it for this video thank you very much for watching i'll do another one again soon